Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Washer Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. Alright, you're looking at my hand, obviously. There's O-rings here. So I want to talk about O-rings real quick. I know a lot of the guys out there, y'all been pressure washing for a while. You might laugh at this video, but believe it or not, I get an incredible amount of questions about these little O-rings. Um, first, let me start off by saying, if you don't have O-rings on your truck, it's in the middle of the night right here where I'm at. So we at this place about to do our dumpsters and some other stuff. So if you don't have O-rings, that's like riding around without a spare tire. Okay, so you gotta have O-rings. And pretty much there's two types of O-rings. There's the uh, quarter inch and there's the three eighths. And so the guys that y'all been doing this for a while, you might <laughs> just go ahead and click off the channel, whatever, move on to something else because it's gonna look boring to y'all. But a lot of these guys, they asking and they don't know. And uh, you know, if you don't know, you, you, you don't know. So you gotta ask. So, Maybe this help them out. So you got quarter inch and three eighths. A quarter inch is generally gonna be exclusive to the end of your gun where your pressure tip goes into that quick connect. That's gonna be the small O-ring you see here. The larger O-ring is gonna be for attachment, such as surface cleaners, attaching onto your quick connect that connects to your hose and um, your wand and other things like that. Is he coming through here? No. Oh, that's a bug sprayer. I thought he was about to run the other Oh, you dokey. You can tell we in town. <laughs> so this is raw footage, brothers. So anyway, you got a quarter inch and you got a three eighths. Um, these are Vitans, Vittons, however you want to pronounce them. Vitans, Vittons, I don't even know the proper way to say it. I buy them off of Pressure Tech. That's spelled T-E-K dot com. They don't know me. I don't know them. So I'm not making anything off. These O-rings are cheap. They come in 25 packs. Just go and get you a 25 pack of each. I like the Vitans or the Vitons, however you want to say it. They last a little longer, but either way, whether you're the cheap ones or the better ones, have O-rings on you. So three eighths and quarter inch. That's basically your two sizes. So, um, so Chris, you're gonna grab the three eighths off of there, and that'd be the large one. Now, I'm gonna show you what we're doing real quick here. Let's uh, let's look at this attachment. This is our obviously our surface cleaner here. This thing. It's gone, it got ate up, it blew out, whatever the case was. Now, if there's an old O-ring in there, you take a dental pick and dig it out or whatever you got. Let's let the mosquito guy pass by. So, um, so anyway, just dig it out of there. You know, dig it out, whatever you gotta do. Sometimes flush it out, whatever. But to put it in, you can just use a dental pick um, or you use a key, truck key, so what I do, uh, tilt it to where it's facing the facing the sky. That way gravity kind of help you. Because if you drop this sucker out here at dark and it's the only one you got, just you know, if you don't have nobody to hold it for you, you can just prop it up on somebody and just slip it in here. These are fairly easy to insert. The larger ones, these three eighths, just kind of push it in with your finger. Take your key or your dental pick or something that's not gonna cut it. And there is easier ways. There are some O-ring tools that, that make it a little easier. I've seen guys come up with all kinds of little tricks. So, Does it looks like it's seated, Chris? Yep. Yep, that's it. Just that quick. So that's the 3H for surface cleaning. Now, just to confirm it, grab, grab the end of my pressure hose, and we just snap it in there. Make sure that collar pushes in all the way. There you go. Snap in. This thing's always been a little sticky. All right, that's it. So that's how we do it here at Davidson Pressure Wash Paint and nothing fancy. Remember, you got quarter inch and you got three eighths. So now you know how to do it. But if you need my help personally, uh, you call this number right here on this little sign. Boy, this little sign gets me a little bit of work. So if y'all have signs on y'all's trailers, do that. <laughs> it's not, you know, they cheap enough. So. And uh, if y'all need any help personally, like um, trying to land to work, like right now, a lot of people are struggling and trying to land to work, get in touch with me. I can help you out. I already got um, a little pre recorded video and it's working. Like people are reporting back saying it's, it's, it's really basically kicking ass, some of the techniques I use. So um, get in touch with me. Text messaging is the best thing. It's hard for me to answer phone calls. A lot of times I'm working around these loud machines. You can't talk on the phone. Yeah, you know how that is. So text me, 985-345-0778.
and I'll get back with you. And again, I'm Billy Davidson, the owner of Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting, and I'll talk to y'all soon.